Um, Kiva, Daniel, I wanted to start with you guys. Um, as you mentioned earlier, the film obviously had a very special beginning. I think more films should start in barber shops. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about the journey from the barber seat chair to the Royal Festival Hall? Uh, yeah, a lot of drafts, a lot of drafts, a lot of reorganization, a lot of just figuring out what the film wants to be. It was, uh, the big breakthrough for me was writing it. It's just um, getting out the own way, getting out of the way of the story. Do you know what I'm saying? It's, it was things that I wanted that the film didn't want that, the story didn't want that. So as the journey went on, we we found more ways to simplify it. And I think that that happened naturally as well because it took a long time. You have ideas and ideas and ideas, and then yet in the end, you get to realize you just need to start pulling them out and just focus on like the core of it. But it's like yeah, you just keep adding and then like yeah. And how was it for you both seeing it on the big screen? That's cool, man. I can't yeah. even lie. <laughs> <laughs> That's when really, I was good. Wild, man. It's, yeah, it was all right. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Kane just said a bit decent. Yeah, it's a bit decent. It's a bit decent. Yeah. <laughs> um, Daniel, what's your Dan Emerson? What's your journey been like with the film? How did you first come on board? What's this whole experience been like for you? I saw a film called Jonah, a short film that Daniel and Kidway made together. Um, which is brilliant, I was blown away. Um, and I'd read some of Daniel's short film scripts as well, so we, we all started, and I, was, I could just see how talented they both were, so for me, I was just up for working in any way with them both, and so I started working on the workshops with them as well. And then in terms of how the journey's been, uh, really hard, <laughs> really hard, but, uh, but amazing, and feel very blessed to, to be a part of it and to have had a chance to work with them both. And, I think really it's a story of um, perseverance and belief from, from us, because there's many times this film nearly didn't happen, you know, and we kept going and, and we're here. And looking yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. And Kane and Jediah, the chemistry that you two have in the film is so amazing. Can we get some noise for the, our incredible actors? <laughs> Can you tell us a bit about your process developing that relationship? Was it kind of immediate when you were both cast, or did you have to kind of work to cultivate it? I'll let him lie and then I'll tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I'll say is, it didn't really come like straight away, but as the film went on, we built it over time, that's what I can say. I guess that's like in the film itself as well. Yeah, and I, I thought you was gonna lie, but that was, that was the truth. <laughs> Yeah, because there was, you know, we could have met up more before to get familiar with each other and, and you know, began to build that bond that was necessary for the film later on. But I, I don't know, if you know me, you know, I'm probably not the most, like, you know, bubbly person on first meet or whatever. <laughs> I'll be bubbling in about an hour, though, I'll tell you. <laughs> but I thought it was... Um, I was like, you know what? I don't want to get to know. I didn't want to get to know Jedi like that much. I wanted that to happen on screen, and I knew the way the the filming was sequenced. A lot of the stuff we filmed at the beginning was like the the early scenes. So I was like, it's quite good to have that kind of awkwardness and just kind of standoffish at the beginning and then just know as we actually build as people, the characters are building as people as well. Um, so that's the way I wanted it to happen and I think that's the way it, it happened, yeah. And keep and Daniel, as you said in the beginning, it is such a maximalist film, there's so much to look at. It's got such a unique look that I don't really think we've seen in British cinema before. What were some of your kind of inspirations for the look of the film? Well, look, a lot of things really. Like there were some films that we looked at, like I guess, you know, Children of Men and like films like Beasts of Southern World. But really, it, was, it come through conversation. Really, like we spoke a lot about more movements, like things like Move from Philadelphia. And it wasn't trying to kind of like reference too many films. It's more like can we build our references and our our world from like actually just building on what's there in London, as opposed to sort of saying, okay, they've done this in this film. Let's copy that build. And that is more like how can we like really just build on what's there already, and then like change a couple of concepts, but build on ideas and concepts that live in the world and live in our sort of specific to us as well. And is there like, I mean, you know, obviously you wouldn't let the film speak for itself, but is there a lasting message that you really want people to take away from the film and for tonight? Um, no, 
Um, <laughs> no, because I just, it just, just want you to take it. It's art. Like, you don't look at a painting and go, this is what it is. Like, it, it reveals who you are. You know what I mean? So, who are you? Do you know what I'm saying? That's, 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 I don't know, that's how, that's how I, that's what I believe. Do you know what I'm saying? And I feel like we, I don't want to be too prescriptive and tell people what to think because it's the beauty of it is allowing you to think. You know what I mean? So, the fact that you want to take it, if you want to take it, if you want to share it, if you want to tell a friend, it's the biggest gift. It's going to be something different to everyone. And finally, I want to ask you all, how does it feel to have just premiered, world premiered, in London and in London Film Festival? That's kind of sick, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's wicked, it's wicked. I'm, I'm just happy all you guys up top. How you doing? Everyone all good, yeah? yeah. Happy everyone come out, do you know what I'm saying? The fact that you guys stayed here for, to hear, our, hear us talk, it's a, man, it's, a, it's one of the best days of my life, do you know what I mean? Real talk. Kip, how you feel? It's mad, yeah, like... Just to kind of, yeah, to be here, just it's incredible, man. It's just like, um, it just feels amazing. So I don't know. It's not much more. A bit decent. <laughs> bit decent. Gonna be saying that all night now, but. Bit decent. <laughs> Dan, Jadaya, anything you want to add? Uh, this is my first premiere, so. I don't even know what to say, but it just feels crazy. And obviously, this is my first movie. Hopefully, I can get some more and some more premieres in the future. <laughs> and I would like to end by saying, backstage there, I said to Jediah, you're not better dressed than me. <laughs> and he said, but I'm up there, though. <laughs> Let's end it with that. Please make some noise once again for the cast and crew of The Kitchen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.